Now let's study self pollination in detail. How does it happen? Right? So it is basically when the pollen, you know, this is the anther, this is full of those yellow dust. When this flies and sits on the stigma of the same flower, then the flower is said to be self pollinated. Correct? All the yellow dust which shifts to the stigma, it can happen through, uh, you know, as I said, wind, it can happen through a honeybee. Honeybee was sitting here and then it thought of, decided sitting here. So, you know, its legs and wings were all covered with this pollen and it got shifted here. So, self pollination happened. Correct? So, examples of self pollination is peas, green peas that you have mutter, tobacco, and wheat. These are all examples of self-pollination. Okay, now uh, what are the advantages? There are disadvantages and advantages, right? So what are the advantages of self-pollination? The advantages of self-pollination is that no pollen grains are wasted. What is the meaning? Because, you know, when the flower, when the pollen gets shifted from the flower, you know, the distance traveled is very less. From here to here only. The distance is very less. Is this what you wanted to see, Neha? So the distance is very little. So not many pollen grains are wasted in case of self-pollination. Right? Because in case of uh, cross-pollination, what happens is that the pollen has to travel long distance to another flower, to another plant. So in that travel, many pollen grains fall on the floor, on the soil. A few fly away. So many pollen grains are wasted in case of cross-pollination. But in case of self-pollination, no flowers are wasted. And also the flowers need not be large and showy. Okay. Um, why, do, why are flowers always so showy and large and colorful and have so much of scent? Why is it so? Does any of you remember why flowers need to be so showy, bright, beautiful, so much of uh, aroma to attract pollinators? Correct. To attract pollinators. Anjali, yeah, please quickly type. Yeah, because to attract insects, to attract pollinators. But in case of self-pollination, the flowers need not be showy. They need not be large. Because pollination is ha happening within the same flower. So it's okay. They don't. They know that nobody will come and I don't need anybody's help. So it's okay even if I'm not showy. It's okay even if I'm not colorful. Correct? So advantages as in these are the two points which are important. And uh, very beautifully as uh, Yashita has shared that in self-pollination, only we require only one flower, right? We don't need two flowers. 